Welcome to Shankle Custom Designs Custom Level Assembly Tutorial of a Chocolate Bar. Which can be a Hershey bar, a Mr. Good bar, anything of rectangular in size. This tutorial is going to include the printed version, which if you order from the Etsy shop and had it shipped, it will include these foil wrappers. I have here an adhesive tape runner. You can also use double-sided tape. Um, it works just as well, but this is a lot easier. You can find them at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and even in the Dollar Journal sometimes. You just wanna go ahead and tape down those edges of that chocolate bar so that they don't puncture the foil as it is a little bit sensitive. Then you're gonna go in and flatten it out, turn it over, and tape down your bar to the silver side or non-colored side of the foil. Again, if you order these from my Etsy shop, um, they will come in different colors that will fit your theme accordingly. Also, I like to go in and trim off any excess. So you'll see that second fold is for me to measure just enough to cover that first side and I'll cut off the excess and then I'll go ahead and finish wrapping it up and tapping the foil wrapper around the Hershey bar. If you didn't purchase the printed version and have it shipped to you and you purchased the DIY downloadable version, which you can print off yourself, then it won't have the foil wrapper and you can just wrap it around. Um, I like the foil version because it gives it that classic look and that um, color always makes the bar pop to me. This next option is um, optional. Um, I'd like to go in and tape down those flaps, but you don't have to. It's not 100% necessary as you're going to go ahead and wrap that label around anyways, but I like to. It's my personal preference. Next, you're going to take your label. Again, if you ordered these printed and shipped already, they're going to come pre-cut, but you will have to go in and cut off any excess white border as necessary. Um, I do try to get them cut as closely as possible, but sometimes there's a little bit extra left. Then you're going to go in and you're just going to put your bar down, give it a quick little pre-measure. Again, I like for that foil to show. It's going to look more like that classic version of the Hershey bar that had that foil wrapper and then you put off that paper. Um, I like my designs to have a little bit of extra space on the outside so that you can cut it to your liking. So I did, I cut off a little bit of the edges so that my foil would show more and then I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Again, always pre-measure. Um, you want to make sure that the design is in the correct position. So your Hershey bar will not be 100% centered. You will make sure that the front of the design is in place first before taping. Then you're just going to go ahead and glue the necessary sides and fold it around. It's really quite simple. And there you have it. I mean, look at that. Look at that design. First of all, it's the details for me. Okay. I mean, who would want to have a party?